Ava Gardner possessed an exceptional allure, surpassing even the high standards set by Hollywood. Her dark incandescent beauty was accentuated by her brown hair and captivating green eyes. Standing at five feet six inches tall, she boasted a figure that could rival any of today's young beauties. Amidst a sea of stunning actresses, Ava effortlessly stood out, not only due to her timeless features, but also due to her radiant on-screen charisma. However, it was her off-screen life that added another layer of intrigue to her persona. With a vivid and complicated lifestyle, she engaged in numerous wild affairs and captured public fascination through her marriages to three extraordinarily famous men. Ava Lavinia Gardner, the youngest of seven children, was born on December 24, 1922, in the humble town of Brogdon, North Carolina. Her parents, who toiled as impoverished tobacco farmers, created a loving and contented environment for their family. Alas, when Ava and her siblings were still young, misfortune befell them, causing them to lose their property. Thus, they embarked on a series of moves, first settling in Newport News, Virginia, and later, following the demise of Ava's father in 1937, finding a new home in Rock Ridge, a suburb of Wilson, North Carolina. In Rock Ridge, Ava's mother assumed the role of managing a teacher's boarding house, shouldering the responsibilities of their new life. Completing her education at Rock Ridge High School, Ava embarked on a new chapter after graduating in 1939. She enrolled in a course at Atlantic Christian College in nearby Wilson, with aspirations of becoming a secretary. Little did she know that destiny had alternate plans for her. At the tender age of 18, fate intervened when a photograph of Ava, taken by her brother-in-law, caught the attention of a Metro Goldwyn Mayer talent scout. This serendipitous event paved the way for an invitation to a screen test with none other than Louis B. Mayer, the esteemed head of Metro Goldwyn Mayer. Subsequently, Ava signed a seven-year contract with the prestigious studio. In 1941, at the age of 19, accompanied by her sister Beatrice, Ava bid farewell to her old life and ventured to the radiant realm of Hollywood, embarking on her journey as an actress. In the early stages of her Hollywood career, Ava faced the challenge of standing out among a sea of beautiful young starlets, compounded by her lack of prior experience. However, she received a transformative Metro Goldwyn Mayer starlet makeover that helped refine her raw talent. This makeover included the assistance of a voice coach to make her Carolina accents more easily understood. During the initial three years, Ava dedicated herself to learning the intricacies of her newfound craft, taking on minor roles with just a single line in B movies like Shadow of the Thin Man, 1941, Young Ideas, and Swing Fever, 1943. Her first credited role came alongside Lionel Barrymore in Three Men in White, 1944, marking a significant milestone in her career. The following year, Ava secured her first substantial role as the lead in Whistle Stop, 1946. Additionally, in that same year, she was loaned out to Universal Studios for her breakthrough performance in the film noir classic The Killers, opposite Burt Lancaster. It was in this movie that her on-screen charisma radiated solidifying her as a rising star. Over the subsequent years, Ava lived up to her potential, blossoming into a full-fledged star with remarkable performances in films such as The Hucksters, 1947, One Touch of Venus, 1948, The Musical Showboat, 1951, and The Snows of Kilimanjaro, 1952, along Gregory Peck. Ava's international stardom began to take root, earning her serious recognition and leading to countless iconic photographs taken by renowned photographers. Her portrayal opposite Clark Gable in Mogambo, 1953, garnered her an Academy Award nomination for Best Actress, solidifying her status as a major Hollywood figure. Following this achievement, she captivated audiences with her significant role in The Barefoot Contessa alongside Humphrey Bogart, further cementing her reputation as one of the industry's brightest stars. Ava's talent garnered further acclaim with notable performances in films like Bowani Junction, 1956, and On the Beach, 1959, where she shared the screen with Gregory Peck. Her remarkable portrayal in The Night of the Iguana, 1964, earned her nominations for a British Academy of Film and Television Arts Award 
and a Golden Globe, along with glowing reviews from critics for her role as Maxine Falk. Throughout the 1960s, Ava remained active in the film industry, albeit often in less prominent roles than before. For instance, she appeared in The Bible, 1968, alongside George C. Scott. In the following years, her roles became smaller and less significant, coinciding with declining health that made her appear older than her actual age. Nevertheless, she continued her artistic endeavors, including a notable appearance as Miss Logan in The Sentinel in 1977 and as Beth Richards in The Kidnapping of the President, 1980. As her health waned, she transitioned to television work, making appearances in five episodes of Knott's Landing. Her final film role came in the form of a made-for-television movie titled Harem in 1986. Aside from her professional achievements, Ava's tumultuous love life garnered significant public interest. Even before she achieved household name status, she had captured the attention of Mickey Rooney, one of the era's biggest stars whom she had met in 1941, shortly after arriving in Hollywood. Rooney, a superstar renowned for his role in Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer's Andy Hardy series, became infatuated with Ava's beauty, and she was flattered by his affection. They tied the knot in January 1942, but ended their marriage just 17 months later, largely due to Rooney's steadfast commitments to his carefree bachelor lifestyle. Ava entered into her second marriage with jazz musician and band leader Artie Shaw in 1945. She became Shaw's sixth wife, and he would go on to marry a total of eight times. However, their union faced significant challenges. Shaw attempted to shape Ava according to his desires and was harshly critical of her lack of formal education, even resorting to abusive behavior. Not surprisingly, the marriage faltered after just one year, and it was during this period that Ava's heavy drinking habits began to take hold. Her third and final marriage was to the renowned singer and actor Frank Sinatra, lasting for six tumultuous years from 1951. This relationship was marked by intense storms. Sinatra was still married to his first wife, Nancy, when he crossed paths with Ava, leading to public criticism of Ava as a marriage wrecker. Astonishingly, just 72 hours after Sinatra's first marriage legally ended, he and Ava tied a knot. At the time, Sinatra's career was struggling, while Ava's star was on the rise. Her influence played a pivotal role in securing Sinatra the role of Maggio in the film From Here to Eternity, 1953, which revitalized his career and earned him an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. However, Sinatra's fiery jealousy and Ava's heavy drinking created a tempestuous relationship, leading to their separation in 1954 and subsequent divorce three years later. Despite the tumult, both Sinatra and Ava considered each other their true love, and they remained lifelong friends. Following the disappointment of her third marriage, Ava grew disenchanted with the Hollywood lifestyle and decided to relocate to Spain in 1958. During her time there, she developed a close friendship with the renowned author Ernest Hemingway, who introduced her to the world of bullfighting. It was during this period that she became romantically involved with the matador Luis Miguel Domingo. After spending a decade in Spain, Ava eventually moved to England, where she quietly lived out the rest of her days in London. Although she faced health setbacks, including two strokes that affected her mobility, Ava's zest for life remained undimmed. She completed her autobiography titled Ava, My Story, although she never had the chance to see the final printed version. Sadly, on January 25, 1990, Ava Gardner passed away in London at the age of 67 due to pneumonia. She was laid to rest in the family plots in Smithfield, North Carolina, where an Ava Gardner Museum now stands as a tribute to her legacy. Farewell and rest in peace to the legendary actress Ava Gardner. Ava Gardner.